car friends in today's video i'm going to be doing a full wash day video from start to finish i'm going to show you how to get a wash and go on fine natural hair that's full but still has a little definition and i'm going to be reviewing some amazing products from natural rosado that's specifically for fine natural hair so stick with me to wash my hair, I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. I always use that. And then I'm going to use Natural Rosado's product. They have a hair mask called Creme Brulee Melting Moisturizing Hair Mask. It's for low porosity, thirsty, fine hair. Y'all hear that? Fine hair. First, I'm going to wet my hair and then I'm going to split it in half and separate it with two clips. Next, I'm just going to get my shampoo and I'm going to start to work that around my edges and massage it all the way through into my scalp and just run it through until I get my hair nice and cleansed. I don't know about you guys, but I never detangle my hair before I get in a shower. Um, I don't know if it's a fine hair thing, but once I have a good shampoo in the water, my tangles just kind of start to melt away as I kind of finger um, comb it, finger detangle it with the product inside of my hair. Everything just starts to melt away. So before I rinse it out and that product has pretty much just lifted all the dirt up off my scalp, I will continue to massage it. I typically use a scalp massager for this process, but I couldn't find mine, so I'm just gonna use my hands. So I only do two sections and I'm doing the other half right now, but when you have fine or maybe thin hair, you don't have to use as many sections. Um, I don't have thin hair, do not get that twisted. My hair is fine. The strands of my hair are thin, not the actual density. I would say my density is average. So now I'm just rinsing everything out, getting all traces of shampoo out of my hair. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna do one more wash because I always do two, especially if it's been a while since I've washed my hair. Now on to the fun stuff. I'm reviewing the creme brulee hair mask from Natural Rosado and it's very milky. It's a, it's not really thick, but it's not necessarily loose, but it will slide right out of your hand. Once I applied it to my hair, it had amazing slip. It just started to glide right down the strands of my hair. So make sure you get those ends. We wanna keep our ends nice and nourished. So I don't know, I mean, can you see this? It's just really just so soft. My hair looks really soft and it's just gliding right through there. This products, this product and the later ones that I'll use, I notice are not heavy at all, which is great for fine natural hair. So once I do all that, I get my curie do and I add a bit of steam to it. The steam, steam is heated, we know that. Um, you can use a hot head or some sort of heating cap because it does recommend using heat with this mask. But I broke it, I broke my heat cap, but yeah, whatever. So I'm adding steam in there to infuse that moisture So here's the deal and here's the trick to getting a full wash and go when you have fine hair. I wash that conditioner out after I let it sit for 30 minutes and then I let my hair air dry. My hair is about 95% dry. It only took a couple hours because it wasn't weighed down with products. So Natural Rosado sent me their Seal and Shine Oil Blend for fine natural hair and they sent me their Moisturizing Hair Milk for thirsty fine natural hair. So yeah, I know we let it air dry, but still get your water bottle and you're gonna lightly mist your natural hair so you can add the products so they can soak in better. So this hair milk is, like it says, it's very milky. It's a, it's very, it's kind of loose. It's not a really thick product. And once I put it on my hair, it felt very lightweight. I didn't feel like my hair was being weighed down with product, but it also felt very moisturized. Next, I added the oil, which was a perfect combination with the hair milk. It wasn't too heavy, but it really felt like it sealed in that moisture. So then I get the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle and I'm gonna use that for added definition. So here's the trick. Most people do their wash and goes on soaking wet hair and then they define their hair from root to tip. We're not gonna do that. 
A hair is moisturized from root to tip, but we're not gonna define it from root to tip. We're gonna leave those roots alone and we're only gonna add definition to the ends. You're gonna take sparse pieces, sparse may be the wrong word, but random pieces throughout your hair and you're gonna twirl it. You're not gonna do every piece, but you're gonna just twirl those ends. Do not go to the root. Next, add a hair tie at the root for added stretch at the roots. So do every section the same. Leave the roots alone, twirl pieces, random pieces, finger twirl at the ends, and then tie a headband around the root. Root, root, yeah. So using the Natural Rosado products for moisturization prior to using the gel souffle for definition, I really liked this method. I always use this method for wash and goes, but I never tried these products. So they work really well. Um, I forgot to mention this moisturizing hair milk is actually a leave-in conditioner and it just really just added so much moisture to my hair without weighing it down. If you want a full wash and go on fine hair, you cannot weigh your hair down. What happens with weight? Weight falls. It falls, we know that. So the lighter your hair is, you're gonna get it to stand up. And that's what they did. It moisturized my hair, but it also kept it light and it kept me having a wash and go that I like, that's full, that stands up, but yet I still have definition on the ends. So because I have fine natural hair and my hair is also not weighed down with products and I did not start off on soaking wet hair, I missed it with water. It only took two hours for my hair to dry once all the products were added. And then I just took my pick and I am picking away, getting it to stand up how I want it and the shape that I want it. Um, I'm really getting those roots, but not aggressively because we do not want breakage. Any strands that you feel that came out too frizzy or you picked too much away, you can go back in with your moisturizing leave-in hair milk or you can use you know whatever um, product you're using, like a gel or whatever, and go back and re-twirl them it's gonna dry very quickly. Like it's only a few pieces that you're gonna go in and retwirl. And you just keep picking till you get your desired shape. So overall, I really like the Natural Rosado hair products for fine hair. Yes, thirsty fine natural hair. But keep in mind, these products are 100% silicone, alcohol, sulfate, paraben, protein, coconut, and mineral oil free, yes. Y'all know that this is good for natural hair. So if you're a fine haired girl like myself and you're looking for some products to help with your styles, y'all might wanna try out this brand. It's great for slip, moisture, and conditioning factors. And like me, I know y'all gonna love it. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.